Alright, looks like my next package has come in the mail today. It's about time too. I was predicting this would uh, this would have taken up to 10 days to come. But yeah, without further ado, let's check this out. Let me put this camera aside. Look up at me what I saw. Got this time. Look at that. Look at these. <laughs> now, by the way, these are two issues of Jet that I used to own. Let's see. December 11, 2000, and April 9, 2001. Now these are two issues of Jet that I used to own. These were released when I was in the eighth grade, and actually, I kind of fondly remember these. You know, so um, yeah, but somehow they disappeared. But all right, now I got them again. Be sweet, huh? Now this movie, oh, as much as I love Wesley Snipes, I have never ever seen disappearing acts, ever. Huh. City of Angels gets canceled by CBS. I don't think I've ever even heard of that show. Oh, sorry, I got something in my eye. Okay. Oh, it's Robert Guillaume from Benson. <laughs> An old ass show. It's an old ass man. Oh, no, she is cute. Kind of. But get the hair out your face, though. That's a thing. Hmm. Natalie Cole dying, Carol James McDaniel and Teresa Randall star in the NBC movie Living for Love, the Natalie Cole story. Mm hmm. That seems interesting. Hmm. Yep, Sherry Belafonte. You know what's funny? There's a lady who just moved on my block not too long ago. She kind of reminds me of her a little bit. I know it's not important, but still. Mm. No, she is cute. No doubt, she is cute. Hmm. Okay. Oh. I think I've seen this movie. Uh, back in high school. Yeah, it's kind of like foreshadowing the role of Vanessa Williams. The, the role that Vanessa Williams played in Ugly Betty. As, you know, somewhat of a badass. Yeah, I've never seen Disappearing Acts. I gotta check that out. And for those of you who are alive in two, uh, 2000, you may rec remember these songs. Yeah. Here's the other one with Eve on the cover. 
Yep, badass Eve. <laughs> I think I, I remember fondly having. I fondly remember having this one. Huh. Oh, this is a cute little ad right here. Dark and lovely, beautiful beginnings. Who believes this whitening two-face really works? Oh, everyone, apparently. Ah, next hurting. It's the recipe that made Amos famous. Sweet, eh? Oh. Yeah, I remember these commercials. These commercials for Kotex were kind of annoying. If you ask me. I mean, they're, they're just like those stupid ass phone commercials that they keep airing nowadays like every literally every 15 minutes like every other commercial break it's really annoying what the heck is this oh spy kids didn't really care for that movie Oh, there's a recipe. And this is a pretty interesting one. Chicken wrap sandwich with lemon mayonnaise. Alright. You might want to check that out. Oh, I don't remember this Wisconsin ad being in here, but then again, it's been it's been so damn long anyway. So next hurting. <laughs> Baseball ad. Black South Carolina man learns bone marrow donor he befriended two years ago is Caucasian. Oh, interesting. Only a DNA test will settle this huge dispute. The 2001 Blockbuster Awards. Hmm, never heard of that one. But then again, I didn't re really record a lot of stuff back then. Not a whole lot. Here and there. So I still have some tapes with some stuff from 2001 on it. But not... I don't have an awful lot. But once again, I have to thank you, Channel Hog Idiot. Well, you're. What's your name now? VHS is not dead for recording those lifetime. Well, no, you didn't record them for finding those lifetime commercials from April 2001. Especially that one for Bounty Napkins. <laughs> Where that kid was eating the barbecued chicken. That one was pretty funny. And that was actually one I forgot all about. I remember, but I forgot all about. And these were the top 20 singles for April 9th, 2001. A long while. That's my song right there. I like love. It wasn't me. By Shaggy. It's a person so clean. Outcast. After Party. Coffee Brown. I used to like that song, but not so much anymore. I just get some eerie feeling when I listen to it. I can't really say what it is. I get a really eerie and ethereal feeling. Anyways. Yeah. And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed this video, people. And I'm Taurus Wrangler. And, and until we meet again, have a good day.
Peace.